Hey. Hey guys. Hey. 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 That's for the girl that was on my live the other day <laughs> saying that she likes when I sing. That's for you. So we have, you guys know Taco Bell. So lid liquor, here we come. Shout out to my lid liquors, cause yep. we out here. We out here. We uh, out here licking lids, okay? Yo, this mother is hot, bro. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. So y'all already know I had to do it with the power bowl. I got chicken this time. Um. Ooh, 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 avocado, nacho cheese, sour cream. We're about to hit the gym heavy tonight. So, avocado. So, we're gonna do this. It's called avocado. My limpo, dio. Did she not put beans on my shit? Bro, no beans. Wow, what a fucking. Okay, whatever. So, this is what it looks like avocado. So his name is Avocado. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> so we gotta try this more. How y'all doing today? How you doing? How y'all doing? Yeah, try it. Try it. They didn't put avocado last time for me. Mmm. Mmm. And I think I got me a uh, uh, cheesy. Cheesy chicken mouth. Yeah, chicken mouth. Wow, the they, avocado is good. You want more? Mm -mm. It gives it like a creamy consistency. Mmm. 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 Delicious. Wow. So, someone wanted us to. Someone wanted us to talk about. Um, working or being a business partner with your family or a friend. Yeah. So we were going to initially do a podcast about it, but we said, let's just do, let's just do it on a video. So working with family can be tough. It can be tough because, you know, dealing with family, a lot of family, you know, when you, when you work with family, mm -hmm. it could be messy. Especially. Money is the root of all evil. Yeah. A lot of people say that. Look all these chips stuck together. Um, so, like, for me and Darlene, right, we're business partners. We're sisters. Like, we trust each other with everything. She knows my bank information. I know her bank information. I know how much money she has. She knows how much money I have. Um, everything is 50-50. Obviously, Darlene makes a little bit more money than me. Um, and I'm okay with that. I don't care. You get what I'm saying? And then the YouTube, we split it down the middle, half and half. You get what I'm saying? We're um, business partners besides being on YouTube, if mm -hmm. that makes any sense. So this is the cheesy mount. So chicken cheese mount, D. Mm-hmm. Which is basically like a... This is for my mamas out there, my 2 o'clock viewer. I don't know if you could see that. Is that focused? Mm-hmm. Mm, take a bite. So good. It's just chicken and cheese. And a sauce. Mm hmm So good. So, what are we talking about? The way my mom raised us. Family over everything, right? And she put fear into us. And what I mean by that, not in a bad way. Family was everything to us. Loyalty. That's why we're so loyal today. That's why we're so genuine. That's why we're so humble. That's why we are the way that we are. We will give you anything that we have. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you heavy. There's nothing that I wouldn't do for you. But if you fuck me over, that's it. When I'm done with you, I'm done with you. But my mom raised us. There's no other option than have family, brothers and sisters as your best friend as your ride or die, as your number one. My mom raised us. There is no friends in this world. I don't care what you say. I don't care anything. We've all been through a struggle, a letdown, a heartache with a friend. Mm -hmm. There's no ifs or buts. It could be either you that fucked it up or the other person that effed it up. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. 
You know? Um, I think that if you're going to go into business with somebody, right? Everything has to be in writing. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say you're going into business with your cousin, right? And you tell her, hey, you know, I want to get a lawyer. I want to write everything down. You know what I'm saying? And she'd be like, why? Because you don't trust me? That's a red flag right there. Mm -hmm. She's not taking the proper precautions. Because what happens with people is, let's say both of you go into a business. You have 70% of the money. She has only 30 to invest in the money. When that business goes up, and that could become mm -hmm. a multi-million dollar mm -hmm. business, mm -hmm. right? And you want to take the most profit because you put you invested 70%. She's going to want it to be 50-50. Mm -hmm. There's a problem there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. whenever you go into business with somebody and they give you that, oh, well, you don't trust me? Be like, you know what? We don't need to go to business together. Because mm -hmm. anybody knows that when it comes to money and business and anything written under your name in a contract... It must be written and notarized because people change on you like this, okay? Mm -hmm. I am blessed that I don't have to do that with my sister. I don't fight over money. There's not an option. That's not an option for us. Yeah, Granted, I don't care. You know, I make more money than her. I get more money off the business than her. But, you know, it's not a problem where... Oh, you making more money than me. Oh, I'm upset. Oh, I'm a back out. Oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'm a... It's not even like that. For us, it's, you know, loyalty and just being able to be each other's ride or die and companionship and confident, confident. I, I would never put no money above that. And to be honest, I live great. Anything that I want to get myself, whether she's making more money than me, I still could afford it. Mm -hmm. So it's not no no problem where I'm jealous over money. It don't matter. I don't live by money. Mm -hmm. You got what I'm saying? Obviously, we need money to survive, but I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't care about that stuff. And, you know... Um, you don't want any of this? Here, take this no, one. No, no, I don't want any of that. I'm going to have more of that chicken thing. Um... People let people uh, people let money get in the way. Mm -hmm. Like um, we were supposed to get into business with someone, a family member. But I see that my family member she she let she's letting her past and her insecurities get in the way of it. Mm -hmm. um, we were supposed to have a salon together, and I just see that this person is just not. It's not meant to be in business with me. Everybody has their money, but it's just her attitude towards things. She's not ambitious. She's not, you know, she's afraid of the unknown. And you right. can be afraid of the unknown, but if you're going to be afraid and negative of the unknown, then that's a problem because the negativity is going to overweigh the unknownness, if that makes any sense. You're jeopardizing your own future and your own blessings without even starting the business. She went into business with a friend. Okay, this is why she this didn't is have why, nothing in writing. This is why we don't we don't have friends. And because, the friend took the business from her. Yeah. And it's Stole been over money and everything. Everything. The salon, everything. It's been over twenty years and because of that mistake, because we make mistakes, she's never been able to pick up and do a business again. Mm -hmm. So she gave that woman the power. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. you need time to, to fall down and pick yourself up and restart and recuperate stuff. But you don't give the power to somebody to ruin your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, I wouldn't go into business with her because she's going to tell us to talk a certain way, act a certain way, and I'm not changing. I don't change for my platform. There's companies out here that don't want to work with us because we're too real for them. That's fine. I don't need your fucking money. Shove it mm -hmm. up your ass. It's not that serious mm -hmm. for me. And that's the thing, like, with a lot of people. You know, money, fame success changes people and i refuse to let a couple thousand dollars change who i am change my persona mm -hmm. change my business change the way that i run things you know because you know the person that we were supposed to go into business with very high class very you know certain um certain kind of people you know whereas us we will let any clientele come to us because that's just who we are yeah and the thing about certain people is let me give you an example right i met somebody right very professional nice person you know hard working came from came from nothing right came from dominican republic 
was born over there, raised out there, and then came here in her teenage years. Nice person, good heart. Bougie as hell because she works in, you know, Manhattan, you know, with upper echelon people, you know, famous people, and she's in and out of those, you know, parties and events. One day I was in a family, you know, situation. She happened to be there, and I overheard a conversation with her with somebody else, and she's like, uh uh, honey, I only drink Fiji water. Oh, yeah? So how come when I went to sleep over your house, you have Poland Spring? You got, you got what I'm saying? The, the frontage, and that's a new word, let's use it. The frontage for people, it's absurd to me. If you about it, you're going to be drinking Fiji water 24-7. I don't want to see you drinking, you know, tap water with your cafecito. I don't want Poland Spring. I don't want Deer Park. You know, I love Poland Spring and Deer Park. But that's the type of person that I don't want to go to business with. Because in front of other people, you you're try acting, to act yeah. all bougie and shit when you're really not about that life. Yeah. You know, and I just can't associate myself with people like that. When it comes to business, you have to make sure you know the person in and out. You got to make sure that you're going to communicate all the time. You got to make sure that you're not putting 40% and the other person is putting 60% and they got to pick up your slack. It's not going to work. Everybody has to put the same amount of money mm -hmm. so that in the end, if y'all all winning, y'all all get the same profit. That's it. Ain't nobody going to buy more expensive stuff. Well, I bought this. I should get this amount of money. Well, I put the most down payment I should be getting the most money Así no se trabaja. that's not how you work in life you, you know what I mean never, you can never get to know somebody so much but if you want to take that leap of faith with somebody because they're meeting you halfway just have it have a contract written mm -hmm. once it's notarized once lawyers are involved if you have to part ways that is the proof in the pudding right there Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And nobody could take that away from you. You just got to be really careful what you're doing, how you're doing it. And maybe you don't need a business partner. Maybe you're just too afraid and you want to be comfortable and go with it with somebody else. But you have the money. You came up with the idea. You know what I'm saying? So Another thing, too, before I cut you off, because this is important. You got to build your credit. And mm -hmm. you got to start somewhere with credit. Oh, my God. That sauce is so spicy. Oh, it's not sitting right with me. Uh-uh. Um, you got to build credit. You got to build credit. Because when I was growing up, F credit, I don't need credit. I'll pay cash, everything. And that's how I feel. That's how I feel. But my credit is up to par. You know what I'm saying? So recently, I just had to call a place and I had to put, um, they want them to see if I needed to put a deposit. I gave them my social. They went through a background check and everything. I didn't have to put a, anything down because mm -hmm. credit my credit is, is so good. You know, you have to build credit in order just in case you want to start a business and you need to take out a loan. Your credit speaks for itself. They're going to give you that loan so you can start your business even if you have to start it on your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you want to start building, uh, you know, your credit. Maybe, you know, Google and search. How do I start my credit? How, how should I go about starting credit? Because a lot of people want to no, 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 no from everybody else, from A, Y, and Z. But they don't put in the work. They don't research. Google is your best friend. Instead Why? of you saying, oh, I'm so bored all day. Oh, I don't have nothing to do. Oh, I don't. Excuse me, I don't have nobody to talk to. Why don't you do your research on how to better yourself? Priorities are all messed up for people, you yeah. know? You got to make sure that you know what you're doing. You got to make sure if you want to buy yourself a brand new car, you don't just go to one shop because your dream car is there. You go to different, you know, car shops. Mm -hmm. You go look. You research. A lot of people always want information from A, Y, and Z, and they don't apply it to their life. They don't do their research. They don't look at anything. I'm sorry. That is so salty. I can't even eat it. They don't look for information, for research at all. That's like people asking us all the time, oh, well, what are you guys doing for weight loss? I gave you the information. Well, can you send me this? Because I need to send it to my doctor. I gave you the stuff that I use. Your job is to Google the products and send it to your doctor. I don't have to do X, Y, and Z for you when I gave you the information. What do you do with your time? How do you apply this shit to your life? You get what I'm saying? Because yo quiero say algo. If I want to do something and my business, the business that we have together, who did I go to? The source itself and I did my research, mm -hmm. right? The source itself and what I needed to do. 
I what? think that people's priorities are all messed up because that's another thing that. Oh, nice car. God bless your car. The, and God bless you. I wanted to discuss, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, well, why y'all not dating? Dating right now is going to take a lot of my time, a lot of my energy. And right now I'm focusing on this. You know what I'm saying? And what I want to do for my birthday and stuff like that. Casarilla. It's not called the quesadilla. It's, it's casarilla. Casarilla. And I wasn't going to eat it right now, to be honest. I was going to eat it at home. Oh, well, we don't have to eat it now, but I'm just saying like... I might eat it. I might eat a piece now, but... Yeah. Um, I'm going to save this for later because I'm going to eat this little bit. Yeah, of we're about to go home and do poly gel on our nails and we got a lot of running around to do. But to be honest, focus on your priorities and what you want to do and your goals because a lot of the times we focus on the wrong thing. You mm -hmm. got what I'm saying? And right now I cannot focus on dating and entertaining a man because that's going to take a lot of time. Y'all know when you the infatuation is real in the beginning of relationship when you start talking to a guy you want to start seeing him you want to start going out to eat to drink every weekend to the movies to his house that's a lot of my time i don't got time like that plus i gotta do youtube full time which we haven't really been doing it full time because we're not uploading three week three days a week consistently but and i gotta do my other business nah i can't i can't I right now i don't want to date I don't like, want to date. That's like me. Like when I used to go to the doctor's office back then in, in Brooklyn and you knew that you were going to get a shot. I don't want to date. I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not into girls. I'm not that way. Girls are beautiful. I give compliments where it's due. I'm not interested in guys. There's nothing in a guy that interests me. Mm -hmm. You can uh, have a we're cute not lesbians, face. but you know, and there's nothing the way y'all be the way that that guys approach me and stuff like that. It just makes me like cringe, cringe, and it's just like mm -hmm. you know, I'm it's getting, just not our time. Mm -hmm. So it's like you women need to stop doing that. Like some of y'all not even happy. Some of y'all have kids, and yet the father's not even there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I would hate time. to be you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, just like you don't want to be in my shoes because I'm single and you feel like you need a man to fulfill that, that void that you're carrying. I don't want to be you. I you don't know wanna... what? Sorry to cut you off. I was just watching this. Um, Natalie, we like her a lot. She was just saying that. Stop, stop, stop telling girls if they're pregnant. That's so rude. I guess they've been asking her a lot if she's pregnant. She's like, why would you ask somebody if they're pregnant? But she's what? a stick figure. She don't even have, what, like, they're insinuating that her belly's big or something? I guess, you know, us women, we get bloated. But it's like, stop asking people that. Stop asking. I don't ask people if you're pregnant. I don't ask people. You could be nine months pregnant and I won't dare. Not nine months, but eight months. I won't dare ask you, are you pregnant? Are you with the baby father? Do you mm -hmm. have kids? Mm -hmm. In order for me to ask you that, I will have to know you for at least four or five months. And we're going to go hang out. Oh, hey, do you have a boyfriend or something? Because you could bring them along. Or do you have kids? Because you could bring them along. I don't want you to feel like you have to come by yourself. That's what I do. I'm not going to ask you your personal life. What the fuck does that have to do with me? And the thing is, you know, this is just a general statement and conversation. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't believe us? Go watch the Glam Twins. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're the polished version of who we are. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, and they feel the same way. Because they live together. They're twins. I'm their business. Yeah. Give me a bite of it. Yeah. Take a bite. I think this is casserole. Mm. Is this, um, mm. okay, this is steak. Okay, yeah. And that is for Zaya. For mm -hmm. Zaya. For yes, Zaya, Zaya. Mm -hmm. For Zaya, Zaya. This shit is hitting. Stupid, 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 mm, that's stupid. That's busting. When I tell you that's busting, that is busting for Zaya. Yo, for yo, Zaya, yo, yo. Zaya. This is how you dance when it's busting. Dale. Dale que tu puede. Dale. Dale. This is how I'm going to be tonight. Doing my cardio and my squats. Dale. Dale. So... They say the same thing. And people try to shame them. If you don't understand something, don't ask. Mm -hmm. Don't question it. Mm -hmm. The bond of a twin and a sister, and I get it. We make some of you bitches uncomfortable. Because y'all wish y'all had this relationship. Mm -hmm. Focus on what's happening under, down under in your pants. You know what I'm saying? And stop focusing about us. With that being said, we hope you guys enjoy this. This was helpful to you guys. 
you guys have any questions or you want us to discuss anything else also we are doing that subways video soon fuck i forgot about subways mm -hmm. but we'll do Dang, that another day I, I just because... wanted that power bowl so bad so we hope you guys enjoy it and go out there and do something you Be know happy. It's, it's a nice day today do something make yourself happy you know fulfill your needs you know, get your shit together. Stop depending on people and do your research. Mm -hmm. you, where, where there's a will, there's a way. Google will help you. It's your best friend. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that budget-friendly video is, go, is coming. It's coming. Give me time. It's coming. Maybe, so, maybe we'll do it next week. I don't know if we should do a mukbang or should we just do a separate video on it? Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be a separate video. Mm -hmm. So, you know... This is what's got, what's been helping me. This is how I've been so successful. Bye. Deuces. Peace.